let's get busy. Live from the Shooting from the Lip studio in Louisville, Kentucky, it's time for Shooting Stars with your hosts, Kevin Hale and Greg Unthank. What is up, everyone? Kevin Hale on this Tuesday night, January 10th, 2017. Shooting from the Lip, live via blog, talk radio, episode 233. Right now, it's just me. For some reason, it's an adventure with Craig getting him on the line. We use Skype, and I guess in his defense, Skype doesn't always work as as planned. So trying to get him on, It's fun. this is where we um, live radio. We're communicating via messenger trying to figure out what Unthank is doing as we start to, uh, well, there he is right there. I'll turn him on. That's his uh, home number. Greg, what are you doing? Uh, What are you doing? uh, I'm uh, having issues, man. What's up with your uh, your little system here? Well, I mean, it's it's all right with the Skype. Is it not letting you get in with the password? What's it not doing? It's not letting me use your password on your Skype. uh, I don't know. I used it the other day it was working i don't know skype be cooperating but anyways yeah try it keep trying um i'll I'll give it a shot as well Uh, yeah uh another fun show tonight lined up first segment he's on hold and we'll get ready to bring him on dave moody thunderstruck the ultimate acdc tribute (sighs) acdc one of my all-time favorite rock bands greg Dave's got got a lot of history with bands in Louisville, so it's going to be... Uh, he does. Show. I know. Uh, I have to share with him. I did run into him not too long ago. I'll share with him that that whole experience. Uh, it wasn't in the bathroom or anything like that. But um, anyway, so uh, second segment, we have uh, a, a band. The whole band is calling in. So this, this probably will be interesting. The band name is Spiders. All four members will be calling in and it'll be to... Uh, you know, join us on shooting from the lips. So, uh, one thing I wanted to throw out at you before we get Dave on, I don't think we, you know, we we have not talked about it. You know, when it comes to the whole uh, music scene here in town, uh, this one place caught me off guard when I saw their um, Facebook post. Uh, the new vintage, they are ending their run at the end of this month. Did you hear about that, Greg? Yeah. I did hear about that. It, it, it surprised me as well. You know, What's do you know the around. any you know the story with that or? No, I don't know anything as far as why. Um, you know, I think they used to go under the name Uncle Pleasance. If I'm if I'm uh, right, uh, and uh, they've always been kind of a staple for for original music. They 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 was uh, always uh, bringing in up and coming acts. Uh, mm-hmm. They weren't they weren't labeled as as a one particular you know, like some bars of country bar or rock bar. You know, they weren't labeled as that. They right. bring in all different kinds of music. Really cool, man. And uh, yeah, it's sad <clears throat> sad to see them go under for whatever reason. You know, uh, mm-hmm. it's definitely going to be a hit to to the original uh, community. That's for sure. Yeah, that's that's kind of how I uh, gathered. I want to say I probably was there. I think one time, but that was the the how I understood the place to be is a really a a place for original music to um, yeah. you know to play their stuff. So, gotcha. Um, all right. Without further ado, let's uh, turn his mic on. He's been um, patiently waiting. Dave Moody, local l- legend. Yes, I said it. I can say it. Dave, what's up? Say it. Hey, how you guys doing, man? Thank you for having me. Own up to it, Dave. Own up to it, dude. Local legend. (laughs) Well, it depends on what kind of legend you're talking about, brother. There's good ones and there's bad ones. So, you know, I'll I'll ride somewhere in the middle, I guess. (laughs) I I, I plan on for good sound bites, tapping into turning over every rock if I can. So, (laughs) Dave, welcome to the show. I've got stories if I can just remember them. (laughs) Well, there you go. I'm sure a little prodding from Greg. Last, 
last minute. Yeah, go ahead, I appreciate Rick. you coming on. Yeah, I was just going to thank him, you know, for uh, being on the show. I, I hollered at him yesterday, and he was very willing to come on, and I uh, appreciate it. Oh, I love you guys, and uh, I love the I love the uh, idea behind the show. I think it's great uh, yeah, format man. for for Louisville musicians to get on and and talk. And I, and I sure do miss my people in Louisville. I can tell you that right now. I'm living up in Cincinnati now, and uh, so I do miss my home. And anytime I get a chance to talk to some fellow Louisvillians, it's uh, it, I, I jump at the opportunity, especially if it's you two guys. So thank you again. Sweet. <laughs> well, um. Yep. You, you actually, we'll we'll get into the whole Cincinnati thing, but go on for for me, for Greg. I'm sure what I'm going to ask you is old news, but for for some of us, it's it would be news or a good story. Tell us, give take us through the Dave Moody path to, uh, you know, from the beginnings until to to where you are now. In, in... I've been uh, playing, yeah. I've been Go playing ahead. music for a, a very long time. Um, um, it started way back in the day, uh, as many as as it did for many of us here in town. Um, we were all pretty much just a bunch of punk kids that didn't know what we were doing, humping at the air. I'm sure, but uh, mm-hmm. we, um, you know, we started much like any other band did. And I was in a band uh, in Louisville called. Actually, my very first band uh, was a band called Recorded in Dublin. If you can believe that now, if you get that reference, it's uh, <laughs> it's, it's it's off of Spinal Tap, yep. and uh, and uh, I remember seeing that that movie and laughing my ass off at, at at that reference, and I said that'd be a great name for a band, and sure enough, right. we started a pretty crappy band out of that, and it uh, actually had me and Wendell Williams in it, and a buddy of mine named Austin Head and Billy Parker, and it just started from there, and I was the singer in that group, and I couldn't sing a lick, I couldn't play an instrument, but uh, we had a lot of passion. A lot of punk rock attitude, and we went after it. Um, and uh, it just started from there, but it started at, a, at an early age for me. Whenever I was a kid, I always wanted to play music, but I never had the ability to play. Um, but after I got in, in into, uh, after I met Wendell and and, uh, and Austin and Billy, I, you know, I learned a few things here and there and picked some stuff up along the way and met more and more musicians. And as time went on, excuse me, you know, um, we started uh, doing some stuff and making some noise. And then uh, actually, um, you know, you played the Toy Tiger. You did that whole circuit, you know. And I came out of that and went into original music. And I did original music um, with a band called Backwoods for about five years. And when that broke up, um, I went on to a band called White Noise, which was together for about four years. And both of those bands collectively did about four albums of original music, which was great. Wow. And and I, and I loved playing originals. Um, but what it came down to was, as we all know, um, original music doesn't really pay the bill. So um, I ended up jumping into uh, some cover situations. I was in Raising Einstein. I was in, uh, and I, I, I'll probably forget a few. I was in Raising Einstein. I joined Power Trip for a moment with Steve Clark. I was in 99 MPH for just a hot second. Um, <laughs> um, I did I did a little bit of everything. And then one day, uh, me and Wendell got really drunk and called Steve Clark and um, asked him if he wanted to start an acoustic act. And, you know, just to make some money during the week. And that ended up being Jefferson Tark Bus. So, um, oh, wow. and, and Jefferson Tark Bus uh, started literally pretty much at a, at a bar called Fern and Moody's, ironically enough, uh, <laughs> behind a pool table with one drunk and one bartender. And uh, he was he was not in good shape, let's just say. And <laughs> it was an interesting, <laughs> ominous start. And uh, anyway, we kept going and going. And here we are 15 years later. Um, and and Tark Bus still does the occasional show. Um, during the course of Tark Bus, I went on to play with Billy Ray Cyrus and uh, toured the planet with that. And um, and uh, then I left that. Or no, I'm still like if Billy does something, I'll do something. But he mm-hmm. really hasn't done nothing in like a couple of few years, so uh, nothing to really in, speak uh, of. Contact with him? Yeah, well, I mean, if he does something, I will I will work, you know. But yeah. he really hasn't done anything. He's doing movies and stuff like that. So, uh, but that being said, um, I left. Or you know, whenever he stopped touring, I went and. Uh, you know, just started doing some acoustic stuff and playing more acoustic gigs. And then one day, um, the guys in what was Bonfire Riff Raff, uh and eventually became Thunderstruck gave me a call. And 
sure enough, here we are with Thunderstruck, and it is doing very, very well. So that's going up, uh, isn't it? Yeah, it, that's a lot of stuff in, in uh, about three minutes. So, and that's that's where I'm at, and uh, I'm I'm pretty happy with it too because the guys that I'm playing with are fantastic. So yeah. we're having a ball. Mm-hmm. Well, that's cool, man. That, that's really good. You know, uh, Kevin and I, we've got got history. I actually started started in my first band with Kevin, and uh, uh, first band that really Kevin did Feller, thing, right? Say. Kevin Feller. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. And. Uh, and uh, yeah, he's he's a good dude, man. And, and I know he's he's, uh, he's one of the best. He's, he's one is. of the best. You can and, you can count on him in any situation. Yep. Yes, sir. Yep. He's a great guy. Great guy. I'm glad to be playing with all all the guys. Uh, uh, these these kids, actually, me and Kevin, you know, the old guys. Uh, you know, these kids that we're playing with are phenomenal. I mean, far better than I was at that age. I can tell you that these these kids know what they're doing. You know, and. Uh, <laughs> Very very professional. Um, show up on time. No drinking, no drugs, no nothing. Just rock and roll, man. You know. I'll, I always tell people that the worst thing I got to worry about on the road is where to get pizza and ice cream. So you know, you're in a pretty good shape. <laughs> pretty good shape. <laughs> and you guys are playing some cool shows too. I mean, you're you're playing yeah, at those yeah. the festivals, which is you know they're always a blast. Mm-hmm. Always a blast yeah. to play. So the perfect band for that. You know, uh, everyone likes ACD. So I know that you all are getting great great crowds and, and, and having a blast doing it, man. That's cool. Oh yeah. It's going really, really well. We, um, whenever I joined the band, I had a kind of a, a, you know, a business plan. I told them, you know, basically what we need to do is cancel everything you got because what you guys are is a, you know, you're not a good, you know, you're not a be right back band. You're a good night band. So, mm-hmm. um, what I had to do was get them to buy into the fact that we needed to cancel all their, the dates that they had, and they bought into it. And sure enough, dates started coming on the books. We had to do some club stuff, but then came, you know, some fairs and festivals and things like that. We uh, ended up opening up for Disturbed, uh, Corn, Rob Zombie, Slayers, um, what was it, uh, they was Sevenfold, um, Rob Zombie, uh, Anthrax, uh, Shinedown, um, doing any number of things with these folks. Over the last year, these are the things that we've done in our first year of existence. And um, we're now to the point to where we're not even really doing clubs anymore at all. Um, mm-hmm. We're doing theaters and, and fairs and special events. So, you know, it's, uh, it, it's, it's quite a graduation from where we came from, and we're humbled by it. And we're just we're looking forward to this year because we really see, um, we see where we're going, and, and we're very happy about it. So we couldn't be more thankful. You know, everything's going great. So, it, uh, Dave. What's, uh, what, go ahead. Go yes, ahead, sir. Let me, oh, yeah, let me jump in. Uh, Tell us what, as far as the, the your all's uh, travels. I mean, because you all you, now, right now, you are in Cincinnati. Which how long has Cincinnati been home for you? Uh, about two years, a little over two years. Two, okay. And yeah. you, you guys are tra- traveling throughout the mid Midwest. I mean, you're everywhere. So this is this is not well, some little regional thing. No, this is half stage. We'll travel. We'll uh, you you. Uh, our our intention is to not, um, you know, we're, we're not trying to do this like weekend warrior stuff. We're trying to do this on a level that is, you know, we could take this anywhere at any time and do it at any time and make a living out of it. Um, my estimation is it's that good. It's that good. And uh, by all estimations from all the feedback that we've got, it is that good. And uh, we've, you know, we've been well received everywhere we went. We've went as far west as Dallas, Houston, Corpus Christi, um, Lubbock. Um, we went to, we hit 18 states last year. We went to North Dakota. We went to West uh, Wisconsin, oh, wow. Minnesota, Tennessee, Alabama, Georgia, Florida, um, uh, Indiana, of course, Ohio, of course, uh, Pennsylvania. Um, I can't name them all, but we hit 18. And mm-hmm. in your first year, that's pretty daggone good. And, uh, yeah. Yeah, you know, and uh, we've had a great time. Like I said, we've been well-received everywhere we went. We've been invited back, in some cases, having to move to a bigger venue. Um, nice. So um, it, it, uh, it truly is rewarding because that songbook is so much fun to play. And uh, <laughs> the, the, everybody loves ACDC. I mean, little old ladies mm-hmm. and little bitty kids love ACDC. So it's a, it's a pretty easy sell, and it's... Um, it's performed at a pretty high level, so we're we're excited about it. I hope you guys get out to see it. Mm. Go ahead, Greg. Greg, you got me you there. there. What's Greg? Okay. 
<laughs> no, you're you are. Hold on, Greg. What are you doing? All right, let's see. Greg, can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, so you're all right. You're on Skype now. Okay, so you sound I'm, you sound hey, better. Dave, Dave, we are yep. extremely professional. You know, we know exactly what we're doing <laughs> until we're not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm on now. I'm on now. <laughs> no, we were struggling um, with the password for me to get on the Skype, man. That's uh, that's what will happen. So, yeah. anyway. Oh, no worries, okay. no worries. <laughs> um, that was yeah. I was sharing a story with Greg. Uh, I don't know if you remember this. I ran into you at the county line, and uh, you you were you. Jenny Carr was singing, and so you got up there and did a song yeah, with her, and, yeah. and you blew the yeah. blew the roof off there. Because, and to your point, that's that's obviously the county line is a is a country honky tonk venue, but you can get up there yeah. and sing an ACDC song. Your country established every genre will uh-huh. get up and shake their ass and sing along because there's so many signature yeah. songs. You know. Yeah. You know, I see he has in there. And that's Dave talking as well, too, man. He probably knew everybody was there. Yeah, he did. Well, yeah, was, and everybody knew him. So, yeah. Well, it was uh, it, that. That's my hometown, and uh, I'm from Hillview, so it was it was good to see everybody out. And I was just uh, I was actually staying with my brother that evening, so uh, I just stopped in to see if there was anybody that I knew, and uh, of course, I knew several people. And uh, Jenny was like, "You need to get up here and sing." And of course, I was like, uh, "Well, all right, let's do it." And uh, they did, they didn't really uh, they they had never really played the song, but we had a great time doing it. And uh, I just love Jenny. Jenny so yeah. just so awesome. She's such good, a sweet lady. Person, yeah. so. Yes. And uh, um, and the talented. God dang, she's talented. Mm-hmm. Yes. Very. Yeah. You know, and I, Purdy. I, I may have asked Purdy. Uh, right, great. Uh, <laughs> yeah, she's Purdy. She's, she's, she's yeah. pretty Purdy. Um. Now, I was going to ask Dave a question on the air here. I may have asked him at, at Kev Fest, but it's probably something that other people wonder as well. Um, mm-hmm. Man, for someone who started out not not singing, not playing, you know, like you said earlier, and, and now you you sing Brian Johnson all night, man, mm-hmm. and, and you hold up well. <laughs> oh, thank you, man. Thank you. Yeah, I mean that's got to be rough on the voice. I mean. Uh, do, do you have any special tricks, man? Do, do you gargle, you know, olive oil or, or what's up with, with <laughs> what? Uh, well, what I can tell you is that's a hard gig, man. It's is, a hard gig. <laughs> what I can tell you is sometimes it's best to not know what you're doing, you know. Uh, and uh, I guess my passion takes me over sometimes. Uh, but mm-hmm. um, I've been singing this stuff since I was a kid, you know, and mm-hmm. I was never a great singer. Uh, to begin with, but for some reason, uh, this material is right in my wheelhouse, and um, mm. it just works. I, I, I can't explain it. It's just there. I will tell you that uh, through Steve and other singers, uh, my great friend Greg uh, Anderson up here in Cincinnati, and, and several other singers that I truly respect, I, I asked them how they warmed up, or I asked them how they held their voices mm-hmm. for so long, because Steve Clark's voice still sounds just phenomenal. Um mm-hmm. You know, my buddy Greg up here, he's 50-something years old and just sounds like he's 17 years old. And I'm like, how did how did you guys do it? And they said, we all, we warmed up. We we warm up every time. And then we cool yeah. them down. And, or we cool down, you know. And I'm like, wow, can you show me how you do that? And I got some tricks from both of them. And I'm here to tell you they served me very, very well. And um, it, um, I warm up for an hour and a half before each show. I, I, I just warm, And then I'll sing for two hours. Uh, wow. Two more. And, um, oh. so it's, uh, it's just a, it's just a matter of actually when, when somebody's better than you and they've got good advice for you, you, you pay attention to it. And if you apply yeah. it, mm-hmm. you, 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 you know, you can only get good things from that. So, um, I'm thankful to them for their advice. It was, uh, damn good advice, but, uh, I'm tell I don't know. I don't know how I do it, Greg. I really don't. It, it just, yeah, it's well. just there. It's just there. It's natural. Yeah. It's there. <laughs> it's uh. just there. <laughs> It's amazing. You know, I mean, really- and, and on a on another subject, I, I read back. Uh, I don't know when it was, but you put up something that you were were getting into radio. You were going going to be a, a DJ on a radio station out there. Is, is that still happening? Um, well, it, it was. Um, what what happened there is there there was a radio station here in Cincinnati that that asked me to be a DJ, and I, and I was I was all in. Uh, and then. Uh, a, Several things happened within my family. Last year, I had a great bit, a bit of death uh, yeah. um, from my brother to my mother, uh, friends 
you know, of course, Alan's passing in, in Thunderstruck, and and uh, my dog died on Christmas Day. Uh, there, there was just a lot of things, and I couldn't give my full self to the the radio station. Just, you know, I mean, it, my heart wasn't well. in it at the time, you know. So I was uh, more or less taking care of myself. Uh, I was, you know pretty much newly sober. I was like eight months sober. You know, I had to really concentrate on things and, um, you know, and uh, thankfully I'm, I'm 20 months sober, you know, so I mean, uh, surviving awesome. everything, Good job. And getting through yeah. all of it. Well, thank you. And uh, getting through everything. And, and uh, I'm proud to say those things. And um, mm-hmm. it, uh, it's pretty You're amazing. But no, I, I had, I had to step back. I really did. I had, I had too much going on, you know, musically, uh, family wise and other, you know, and it just didn't lend itself, but that's not to say that they, they, they said my seat's there whenever I want to come back. Um, but it just, um, I just haven't felt a need right now. Um, but that's not to say that I won't because I really enjoy it whenever I was doing it. Yeah. Very cool. Um, ha- have you and I, I, I'll throw the question out. Have you lived the rock and roll lifestyle? Dave? Oh God. Yes. <laughs> All right. Well, th- that's what I'm getting at because I want to know if we can turn over any rocks. This is where, you know, we, you know, things. That- <laughs> well, I, if, if you're talking about, if you're talking about drinking, absolutely. Uh, drugs, I've never got okay. into. You know, I mean, I mean, whatever. I mean, your buzz is your buzz. But uh, I was, right. I was more All right. alcohol. That, there's guy one vice. I, Keep going. There, yeah. That's one vice. Yeah. One day. Well, you know, I mean, you know, women. I mean, come on. They're all, you know, it, 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 there's all that stuff. You know, I mean, when you're younger, mm-hmm. but uh, you know, as you get older, you know, you start to realize. Like the 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 day that I gave it up. Uh, you know, I just woke up one day and was done. And um, mm. I quit on Derby Eve, believe it or not. And uh, just uh, just up and stopped, you know. And, and, and he remembers. I, you know, was, was it was a that, bad experience or what? Was it a bad, yeah. something bad that just. Well, the, well the, he, he, had a, he had a hangover. He grabbed his shoes and quietly sneaked out. <laughs> Well, they're, 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 they're always bad. You know? Shoot his arm but, off and uh, ran. You know, I just, uh, you know, I, I don't, I can't, I can't explain it. I, I just, I guess I just woke up one day and, and that was that. But I, let's just say this. I had, I had my share of fun, yours and Greg's share of fun and everybody's <laughs> listening share of fun too. Let's okay. just say that. There you go. So, yeah, you know, I mean, it's, yeah. I, I've, I've it, been to the fair it, and it, seen the bear as it were, you know. Yeah. Whenever Greg, whenever a guest uses the line, let's just say that basically means we're not going to get anything else out of him. So, all right. <laughs> touche, touche, Moody. Now, I do have to ask this question. You know, you, you do the, you're the tribute band for ACDC. Uh, and ACDC, if, you know, for the fans, people who follow ACDC, you know, know that it's, it was the Youngs, Angus, Malcolm. They they were the founders. Um, and for all these years, uh, Angus is still involved. Now, Brian Johnson was in it for 30 years, uh, replacing mm-hmm. obviously Bon Scott at the death. Uh, as a, obviously, you got you're a fan of ACDC. But here's where I kind of oh, yeah. struggle with a band. There's only one member in ACDC right now that was part of the original band and that sure it, it, it to me it's it, I, I struggle with you know to take the voice team? away I, and I, you know, I don't I actually haven't followed him with um uh, who is it now uh, Axel Rose is it, is he now the full-time replacement or I don't know but uh, what, what is your take though as a fan of the band when that's not the band anymore you know, it is, Angus uh, is still... and, and you know, there's there's not a lot you can do uh, for somebody. Uh, I, I don't know. It, everybody's circumstance is different. You know, I mean, Angus has earned the right to do whatever the hell he wants. You know, oh, and it's it, it, it's his ship to guide. You know, it's not mine. It's it's. Uh, I'm a fan of him. I'm a fan of the band. I'm a I'm a traditionalist. I guess you could say. Hell, I, I sing Brian better than I do Bond, but I love Bond more than I do Brian. But I love them both. Mm-hmm. You know. So, um, uh, I don't know, man. For me to say anything mm-hmm. about how he drives his car is is not my. Mm-hmm. It's, it's not me. Right. You know. But I will tell you this. I I have a large large amount of respect 
for somebody who says they're going to do something and they do it. And um, mm-hmm. he, he did. You know, he finished the tour uh, regardless. It, it, it meant something to him. Uh, mm-hmm. Not to he he wanted to run through the tape, you know. So he did, right. and uh, he he delivered the goods, and he did it the best way he could. And uh, that being said, um, whatever he wants to do is fine with me. Um, mm-hmm. I didn't go see the Axl Rose version. I wouldn't go see that. That's not me. Right. But right. That, that's that's his that's his gig. That's his baby. That's I'm just blessed to be able to play a songbook and make a living, you know. And uh, right. I'm, I'm thankful for that, you know. Good. All right. Fair enough. He yeah. didn't give you didn't give me the all I'm gonna say or I'll just say you said it. So there you go. <laughs> Greg. <laughs> what, real quick, Greg, yeah. let me ask you the same question. Do you what, what's your take on that? Uh I'm I'm kinda in the same boat that Dave's in. I mean Angus can go out there and make money for the rest of his days if he lived another fifty, sixty years and didn't put out another album. He could still probably tour with the old right. ACDC songs, man, and make a huge living at it. Um, mm. I'm not a fan of uh, of Axel. I wasn't a fan of Axel yeah. with Guns N' Roses, so I'm definitely not mm. a fan of him singing with ACDC. Um, mm. and, and, and it wouldn't interest me to go see it either. But, you know, if Angus is still out there doing it, then the good on him, man, because, you know, he pretty much was the attraction of the band, you know, and... Uh, um, uh, I, I just, uh, I'm like, hey, man, if he can keep doing it, then, then I'm all for him doing it. But I, I, it's not, it don't pique my interest to go see him with Axel. And, and I heard that yeah, actually I, Axel is, is I, not with the band anymore, and it, it will be Brian Johnson again. I think he's got his problem really? corrected, but I could be wrong. I, but hope, I, that I, is, I, think I, I hope that is true. Yeah, I, I couldn't run. get behind Axel because of uh, mm. he uh, the way he disrespected fans by showing up late and being tardy and that just mm-hmm. uh, that stuff that's hard for me to come back from, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're, irregardless, but that's just me again. I'm I'm just mm-hmm. one guy, but uh, but yeah, Angus can do whatever the hell he wants. He, he's earned mm-hmm. that right, and he has. And, he uh, has. You know, uh, he's dropped so. his pants on every every stage in the world, so you got to respect that. Yeah. All right, all right, Dave. Dave, as we're uh, rounding that, rounding. Uh, down the segment, uh, we do this thing called round of shots. Six okay. questions, a quick Q and A type thing. Just have fun with it. Number one, okay. tell us the first concert you attended. It was Kiss and Queensrÿche in 1985 or six. Oh wow! And wow. it was at the Kentucky Convention Center. Queensrÿche was on the Warning Tour. And mm. they opened up with Queen of the Reich, and it was the Animalized tour for Kiss. And uh, mm. actually, uh, I believe Bruce Kulick was with them instead of Mark St. John, which shows you what kind of Kiss nerd I am. So, mm. uh, <laughs> Me too, bro. Uh, was, was that without the, the makeup? Kids. Well, yeah. Was that without, without the makeup? makeup? Yeah. Yep. Okay. See, I, I know. Greg, Dave Greg, Moody. when I first saw Greg, when I first saw Greg play Kiss songs, it was without the makeup too, Greg. You didn't. Wear no, I had makeup. There's a story I behind that. I'm not going to tell it because it's been told. Anyway, right. but I, uh, right. uh, Dave, Dave, my first concert was Kiss, and ACDC opened up for him. Oh, Seven, well, Scott. 70, huh? 70, yes, nine. 79. Yep, so, yep. yep, 79. Yep. Cool. Yeah, that hurts All my right. feelings, Greg. To go yeah, back you and just, that you, again just you just you just you just won up our guest, Greg. Thanks a lot. <laughs> well, it just showed it just showed how much older I am is what it did. Okay. <laughs> All right, Dave. Number two, what was the last picture you took with your phone? Be honest. If it was if it, was uh, it had to be with me and had to be with me and my dog Willie Nelson. Had to be. You know? <laughs> right. I, I take I take I take pictures of me and Willie Nelson all the time. He's awesome. <laughs> Willie. All right. Really number cool. three. Number three. If you're, if you were to be stuck in an elevator, what celebrity would you want to be in there with? Uh, right now, I'd be Leah Remini because I'm just in love with that woman from uh, the Man. Scientology stuff. She yeah, is, uh, you know yeah. she is. Awesome. She is hot. She is hot too. She is too you know, you know, but but, yes. this, but this, it's it's more than her being hot. It, it's the dirty it's little so mouth. Frickin', it? Yeah, yeah. It's yes. freaking cool, man. Oh, yeah, I know. She's cool. She's a she's a cool chick. I like her. I like that's her a, in that whole New York thing, and you can yes. just hang out with that chick. You, you know, if yeah. I ever turned it would be with her. 
<laughs> there you go. Oh, that's a yeah. She's uh, that's a good answer. Well, I didn't. Uh, that's a good one. Caught me off guard. All right. Uh, let's see. Number four. During a gig, what would be a Dave Moody pet peeve? Something that just drives you crazy while you're dead air, dead air, dead, dead air. air. Dead air. dead air, dead air, dead air, dead air. No dead air on yeah. my stage. No, I will, I, I will lose my ever living mind. I'm a Ramones mm. guy. One, two, three, mm. four, go. You know, let's go. Mm-hmm. You know, no the chorus get no to the chorus. Let's go. Yeah, let's <laughs> go. I, I don't. I ain't got time for your feelings on stuff. Let's go. You know, let's <laughs> play music. You're up there to play, and that's what I do. You know, so um, no storytelling, huh? Yeah, yeah. Let's 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 move. Let's move along. Yeah. So uh, no dead air for sure. Number number five. Uh, tell us about a scar that you have and how did you get it? Ooh, let's see here. I don't have too many scars. Um, Sneaking hmm. out of a bedroom window back in the day. <laughs> that could be. I probably got one, but I don't remember that. Uh, <laughs> let's see here. Uh, scars. I don't really have that name. Um, unless you count mental, um, but, uh, you know, I got, uh, I got one where, yeah, I got one on my, my hand, uh, where I fell off of a garage and landed on a bunch of bricks, but that was just being stupid kids. Um, but that's about it. I don't, you know, I never really got any scars. I, I okay. No battle really, wounds or anything. Yeah. All right. No battle right. wounds. I, 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 yeah, I've went through this life unscathed. <laughs> okay. Knock on wood, baby. Knock on wood. All right, last one. You're the lead singer of a super band. Name us or tell us who your lead guitarist, your bass, bassist, and your drummer would be for one night. Playing lead at the uh, playing, and you're playing at the uh, Donald Trump inaugural. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, let's see. Uh, lead guitarist would have to be. Uh, oh my goodness, this is hard. Uh, lead guitarist. I, I, I'd have to say Eddie Van Halen. Uh, and, 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 and the drummer would have to be, well, wait, let, let's take it back. I'd take Angus or Malcolm Young and, or Chuck Berry. So any, any one of those three. Oh, and wow. then, and okay. then the drummer, the, the drummer, the drummer would be, um, Kenny Arnoff. Uh, nice. Yes. Uh, and and the bass player would be Glenn Hughes. So mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I know all those names. So, wow. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. I, th- so I took that, a clip that... Kenny Yard off. Oh, he is so good. Incredible. He's so good. Yeah. He's incredible. He just he's he's a beast. I mean, just uh, he's so yeah. rock solid. So yeah. rock solid. Yeah. I would I, I would give anything to play bass and drums with that guy just for twenty minutes. Yeah. Just a groove with that guy because he just lays yeah. her down. He's 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 brilliant. Great choice. Very cool. Those were the round of shots. Good good stuff. Uh, Dave, share with us uh, upcoming events that you guys got lined up. Well, we have a lot of stuff coming up. Um, actually, we are this weekend. We're going to uh, West Virginia to do the uh, West Virginia Fairs and Festivals Showcase at the Civic Arena in Charleston, and that's where you just go showcase for a bunch of buyers for all the fairs and festivals and conventions in uh, West Virginia. So uh, hopefully, we get a bunch of work from that. Uh, but then the first show of the year for us will be the Vogue in Indianapolis. Uh, and then it just goes from there. You know, if you want to go on our uh, on our Facebook page, I just posted a list of everything that we're doing up to this moment. But there's a lot of theaters, and they're all over the place, from Wisconsin to Baton Rouge, Louisiana, to Tennessee, to, you know, Georgia, to, uh, you know, uh, Indiana, Ohio, Kentucky. Um, and there's there's more coming in every day, and it's just too much for me to name. But the first one, if anybody in Louisville wants to come, is in Indianapolis at the Vogue. So awesome, awesome venue. Yes, oh yeah. man, it's beautiful, it's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, that's a cool place. Beautiful well, place. Good deal. And, uh, and I, I I truly appreciate you guys having me on. Y'all got a great podcast, and I'm very thankful. So thank you very, very much. Very cool. All right, Dave Thanks, buddy. Moody Thanks for coming on. Dave, thanks so much for hanging with thank, us tonight. Thank, thank you guys, and and uh, 
listen, I want to, I'm going to leave you with this and then I'll get on off here. Um, the world is better than what people are saying. People are better than what people are saying. And we got to be good to one another, take care of each other and help out when we can. And don't let the Amen. bastards get you down. So there God you bless go. you guys. Y'all have a great you, day. Mike, too, man. Yeah. Bye-bye. Take care, Dave. Good stuff. Man, uh, man, Dave is always always upbeat. Man, you look at his Facebook posts and stuff; he's always upbeat, you know. And uh, <clears throat> and it comes, it shows, it, it shows that that right there, the ending comment was was was, was mm-hmm. straight up, Dave. So pay so forward, good pay to have, forward, yeah, pay forward. It's good to have a lot of a lot of a positive energy like that. Um, it, it works. I got to do. I'm going to screen our next guest, and while I'm doing that. Uh, Craig, you're gonna you screen. Had, you're gonna screen at the next guest. Screen, screen the oh. callers. Screen, not sc- well. Okay. I, I, I'm not a screamer, so I'm not gonna scream. Um, <laughs> while I'm screening, you're gonna share with us. Don't you have a weekend gig yourself? So, you know, yeah. And you promote yourself, and then I'm gonna screen our guest. Go. All right, all right. Promoting myself, it doesn't take very long to do that. Uh, actually, I'm uh, playing with Spare Change Millionaires, uh, my 80s rock extravaganza uh, show show band at uh, Gerstle's this Saturday night. Uh, come on out. Uh, Paul likes to say, the guitar player, come on out and dance your face off. And uh, I don't have anything else coming up. And uh, then Spare Change Millionaires will be uh, at a TK's February 4th. That's always a fun spot. And other than that, uh, got some um, studio stuff going on with uh, um, the original band I'm with, Blue Funk. We're we're uh, working out at uh, Steve Wilson's uh, studio right now. It's called Raise the Roof Studio. He's uh, got a nice uh, nice spot out there and uh, having a blast writing songs and being creative and working the uh, working the creative juices doing that stuff. Man, I'm just blown away with the stuff that we're coming up with. We've got about 10, 11 songs and. Looking forward to having a disc out uh, probably over the over the summer, and uh, mm. that's about it, man. That's about it in a nutshell. I got some other gigs lined up, but that's on uh, March and yeah, see, on down the road. We'll talk about that in other shows. Yeah, uh, we've, got, in um, we've got we've uh, got I have uh, one of my guilty pleasure bands, Greg. When it comes, and I'm you know I'm a I love original music. We we love Kevin McQuarrie. Um, Velvet Saints. McCreary. 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 Yeah. McCreary. I guess. McCreary. <laughs> Love K, K1, as he's uh, known on this show. Um, mm-hmm. I, Kevin Manning reached out to me and, mm-hmm. you know, was like, we got a gig this weekend. Give us a shout out, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, Manning, shoot me an audio promo. Yeah. And check this out because they, they, uh, the they killed point. it with this. Well, Listen to the entire promo, Greg, especially the end. Hey, this is Rachel from Velvet Saints. Come see us Saturday at Baxter's 942. Den Denim Demons are back by popular demand to open for us. And the show starts at 9. We'll see you there. Yes, (laughs) she recorded it. (laughs) She recorded it. (laughs) Yeah. That's hot in in, in a sick way, isn't it? It is, because we know Rachel... And the whole visual of her, yes. So, Velvet Saints, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna this great. weekend trying to. This is my game plan for the the weekend. You guys are playing at Kirstel's. I gotta try to. I'm trying to do my one of these nights where I'm hitting several bands. I'm gonna go to PBR. I'm gonna start my night at PBR. Josh Bogard and the his Dirty South band. I'm gonna go see them. Mm-hmm. And this is all contingent of really how I'm feeling. So I'm still kind of strong. So them, Velvet Saints, Spare Change Millionaires, that's the three. If I can do a four, I don't know if I can do a four, but that's the that's the three, you know, uh, gigs. I plan well, if you can do a four, man, Saturday. you can walk across the street from Gerstle to Diamonds, and, and they've always done some good yeah, things. Over. Yeah, you're right. Uh, I mean, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm I just sure, I didn't know it, right it, away. It, I don't know. There, yeah, and, and they've always got somebody good going on. So that's your fourth mm-hmm. one. Yeah, yeah, Diamond. I can. Yeah, I just I readily didn't don't know of who's there, but oh uh, yeah, I'm sure. But by the time I hit Gerstles, you're not gonna you all you're gonna have me so involved that I'm not gonna want to leave, right? 
No, nah, maybe. Maybe so. <laughs> All right. <laughs> continuing on I'm with the to show, to Grant. To I know. To continue on with the show. I'm turning the on the mics. And this, yeah, the band with the really cool name, and we've got to try to we got to try to make this work, guys, because whoever's talking, we got to kind of limit the background uh, chatter. But we're gonna try to make this work because I've got the whole band: Ian, Amy, Gary, Jamie, Rabble, and Spiders, which is a very cool name. And I'm cur- so curious to know how that name came about. Let's never tell you. Yeah, no, yeah, well, it's, we, we're, this is breaking news. This is a breaking uh, kind of uh, show. So let's start. Ian. Can we get yeah. Ian? What's up? Hey, nothing. Just hanging out on Gary's porch. What up? What up? <laughs> All right, and we have Amy. Amy. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Gary, hey, what's going on? Yeah. Hey, guys, Gary, what's up, brother? And Gal, and Gal, and, and Jamie. Last but not least, Jamie. Jamie. <laughs> yeah, this is this is this is going to be interesting, Craig. I could already. This is yeah. <laughs> all right. Let's let's give it a chance. Let's let's try to make this work. Uh, well, I'll start with Ian. Ian, give us the what is the story with gravel and spiders? How did you uh, all come? Part about? of Jamie's diet. Like he always eats the weirdest shit, and I figured if he's gonna eat anything, it's gonna be rocks and spiders. Cause he's part bird and part part shithead, so it's the ultimate diet for him. Nice. And then yeah. what is it? I missed the first part. Whose diet is that? Jamie's. Jamie's diet. The, Damn. Our Jamie. terrible drummer that can't count or like feed himself. His mom still picks out his clothes, which is weird. She's been dead for a year. So it's outdated. <laughs> it's oh, absolutely. Oh. I dig corduroy. Hey, man. <laughs> now, Ian, you, uh, your guitars, lead guitars, lead or in vocals. That's your um, mo with the band. Uh, how long, how long have you been doing the music thing? I don't know. I guess half my life, maybe. But I just think well, that narrows Africa, that narrows it down. Period of time off. <laughs> well, I'm 33, so okay, approximately 15, 16 years. You would think I would have a lot more to show for it, uh, but I still don't know any scales because music really isn't that important. <laughs> Okay. It's hey, about the, no. Was it about the chicks? The chicks? <laughs> no, it's not even about the chicks. It's just about talking down to audiences and making them realize that they listen to shitty music. <laughs> <laughs> there, 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 he's got actually got kind of got a point. There's a lot of shitty music out there, especially on the yeah. radios. So let's uh, let's bring in the uh, matriarch of the band. Uh, <laughs> Amanda, what what is your story? Um, I don't know. I don't know why I'm here. I regret besides, every day of this. Besides <laughs> pissing people off, that's how I kind of get. You're you give me. I get the impression, Greg. I get the impression with Amanda that she's the one in the band flipping off people during the gig. How yes, accurate with that it. statement? <laughs> it's, it's, that's her, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Anarchy. Yes. I'm not. Amanda, <laughs> Amanda why are, why, are nice you like in a suits her. Yeah. Are you in a, like when you're playing, you're doing a gig, are you in a good mood? I mean, what's, what is your mindset when you're <laughs> in, in front of all these? Yeah. Let's let's hear it. Yeah, I don't know how to <laughs> I'm I'm doing good standing there singing and trying to play. I just hold a guitar and <laughs> Yeah. No. I don't know where you come up with that. <laughs> Amy wouldn't know a good mood if it bit her in the dick. <laughs> nice. Yeah. This is is we're 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 batting a thousand, Craig. So far so good. All right. Gary is the bassist. 
Gary, what's yeah. your story, brother? Tell us, tell us uh, something good. Been playing music for about ten years, like a classic rock band, bored as shit. And I found out these guys needed a bass player, so I begged them to let me in the band. This is news to me that you've only been playing for ten years. What the fuck, Gary? Oh, I, well, actually, I've been playing trumpet since I was a young kid, but I mean, playing out, you know, semi-professionally for only ten years. He played out uh, semi. Not <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you know, real instruments. Cool. <laughs> yep, bass, keyboards, and trumpet. They face out of it. You know, it's not real. <laughs> Last but not least, Jamie. Jamie, you're the new guy, right? You aren't you relatively new to the band? No, no, that's Gary. I'm the new guy. Oh, Gary. Okay, my bro, my bad. All right, so Jamie, drummer. What's the Jamie story? Florida. I started playing in 74 because I'm old as fuck. And uh, just, yeah, my buddy, yeah, there's these cool people that you need to jam with, and one thing led to another. And I've been raped into this band, so it's your turn to talk. <laughs> Describe, Descri- oh, oh, let me go back to Ian. Ian, share with us, uh, the band describe the band as far as the music the genre you're trying to uh or you all are playing uh, you know what's the uh, sound about i don't i don't know mostly just about being loud and uh i don't know i don't want to describe it amy talk about it <laughs> you're stupid tell him all right. Uh, yeah, mostly just uh, loud fastness and not sounding like every uh, shitty band in Louisville. Like everybody's all, oh, let's let's play some Stone Temple Pilots. It's every day three. Fuck that shit. Let's play some cool music. <laughs> Ask Ian how much he likes this. <laughs> what was that song that everybody plays that we all hate? I can't think of the name of it so bad. Cumbersome. You love that song, don't you, Ian? Oh, that song is awful. If I hear it one more time, <laughs> catch me when I'm coked up and it's going down. So what song? What songs do you guys play? Uh, well, we like to play uh, Skulls. That's that's an Amy uh, jam there. Uh, we play some Ryan Adams crap, some Alkaline Trio, a little Blondies, Talking Heads, a little bit of The Cure, whenever whenever it works out. Uh, <laughs> You know, some stuff that people have heard and some stuff that we're just going to force them to like or maybe leave during. Either way, it's fine. Gay <laughs> bar. Gay bar. Yeah. yeah, people have been digging gay bar lately. I, I don't know if it's like a, a leftist movement or it's just a fun song, but people are eating that shit up. That's a song. <laughs> Who's that by? Who's that by? Electric Six. Oh, okay. Uh, they're, they're, they're a sweet band. We can definitely rule out we can definitely rule out the alt right feeding into that, but that's a whole different topic. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. Uh, now, I, I say Amanda. You you said you you referred to her as Amy. So what are we, what are we going by here? Amy or Amanda? Name Miss Thang. Amy. All right. Yeah, mother. We call her mother. Amy. Her slave name is Amanda. Yeah. The all right. There you go. Her her government okay. name. Her government name. Her birth no, no, her government name. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Amy, how how long have you been playing? Three years. You've you've truly just been playing guitar music for three years. Three years. It's been a really? year yet that I've been doing shows. Yeah, I just started doing this in March. Are you shitting me? Are you being serious? I'm being serious. Okay. That's why I call being serious. Being job. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a good actor. <laughs> now, are you all rehearsing tonight? What's going on tonight? Why? Why are all four of you all in the I same? I have a feeling they don't on rehearse. The... <laughs> <laughs> I think don't. it's the thing that that they don't rehearse. <laughs> they yeah. hang out and yell at each other, but we don't. Just kind of kind of show up and and do it, right? Well, that's true because they're on. You're an idiot. Yeah, you're you're on somebody's porch. I forgot they're on somebody's porch, Craig. So I forgot who's lowering my was. property value. Too. <laughs> He's probably got his pants. 
uh, Amy, you, uh, you and I have chatted on uh, Messenger. You you guys recently uh, were at um, Third Street Dive. Uh, tell us what what venues are you guys frequent frequently playing, trying to play. Uh, <laughs> I think we live at Third Street Dive. We've been at Billiards and Jillian's. We, yeah, Jillian's went so well, they closed it down. Uh, <laughs> Get ready to do the Mag Bar. Yep. Now, wait a minute. There, t- share with us, didn't you all have a gig recently where <laughs> the, words the, the words, <laughs> things things that were said or sung didn't like fit the <laughs> PG-13 environment or something? <laughs> what was that about? And they didn't, they didn't enjoy gay bar because we said gay bar, and they didn't like the sex pistols because I was thinking about abortion. Um, they asked us to quit. Well, we thought they were saying cut it short. Yeah, we thought it was saying cut it short, but then Ian started adding. He, he just changed London Dungeon by the Misfits into fucking Dungeon. Yes. Yeah, that's, that's what did it. And we got asked to leave. Proudest moment of my life. Yeah, that's Gary's lucky list. We'd not be marked that off. And Gary's old, so he's going to die soon. So hopefully. Yeah. Not if I do Coke with Lindsay Lohan. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you, you guys, it, you're s- strictly a cover band, correct? For now. Probably for now. I for, kind of want to kill oh, myself and think about that. But okay, we're working but, on stuff. All right, that's where. I, all right, let's go there. What's uh, what is the where, when and what is the plan to start total domination of the world? Well, we already rule the world. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. You have a, but you but now you're telling us. Ah, we let our secret out. Yeah, damn it. On, on an actual timeline, I'd like to think we'll have at least an EP by July. What? Yeah, well, don't act so surprised. <laughs> well, you never do anything. You no? Know? We just found oh, this out because now you can inform us yeah. that we have an EP in July. I like music, too. I, got I don't know what he wants to hear your shit, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. I sold a song to Taylor Swift. Come on. She loves me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. I want to sell a song to Billy Ray Cyrus. That's what I want to sell a song. He doesn't have the money to afford it. Here's, here's a Clamato beer, Jamie. Yeah, thank you. He would sell it for that. Um, is, with the band, if you're doing original, in doing original music, do you all have a primary writers who's taking the lead process in uh, writing material? Amy's kids are going to do the majority of the writing. <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah, they're not jaded yet, so it'll be fresh. So it'll still be pure, <laughs> right? It'll still be Absolutely. pure. Absolutely. Yeah. We'll, we'll probably say fuck a lot because Amelia has a mouth. <laughs> hello, guys. If hello, can you hear me? Let's go on. Uh, or you, you, there was a dead, dead, dead space, like or dead uh, air. Oh, I couldn't hear you guys. Do you want me to talk about the time I saw my parents having sex? <laughs> yeah, those. The, yeah, that that seems to uh, you know be a um, a moment where I don't know. I try to forget those. I've I've had that experience, and I have tried to forget <laughs> that. Yeah, they're not that bad at it. Well, yeah, they are. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well. Oh, yeah. I, I'm. I'm thankful. My lucky stars that, you know, that they did it. Greg, are you with us? Yeah. I had to go poop. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> uh, I'm back. I'm back. What did you Bye. name it? <laughs> um, spiders <Nothing>. and gravel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you! They walked right into that one. <laughs> now, <laughs> now, look, guys. I want to. I'm. I'm going to ask you guys because I think you guys will be a straight shooter here. Um, you guys. It, it sounds like you guys. Yeah, not this. Don't. Yeah, he can. He can be straight during this show. Let's let him be straight during the show. What is you guys? It sounds like when you guys play, there's a lot of uh, you know this energy and this kind of fu type of 
I don't know, adrenaline <laughs> when you're playing. Okay, is it not? Well, if if Amy is uh, flipping off the crowd, that's kind of where I'm going. But here's 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 the question: What is your take with the local music scene? Garbage. <laughs> It's a lot of crap. Every once in a while, we come across a band that like I don't hate playing with, like the Overreactors. They're pretty boss. And uh, the band we played this Saturday, they were, I call them the Martin Van Buren's, but they're called the Kids Born Wrong. They were cool. They were very cool. But most of it's shit, so there's that. So-and-so is pretty cool. They're a new band. But, you know, ah, what happened? Mostly fuck Naked Garden. (laughs) Wait a minute. What was that? I, I'm sorry. I missed that. What was that? What about Naked Garden? Naked Garden. Yeah. Screw you, Chuck and Steven and Kevin and Jeff. Jeff's kind of cool. All right. Yeah. All right. You, you're giving a shout out to Naked <laughs> Garden. Um, yeah. We do love yeah. two pumps. Right, you, they're fucking block of shit. <laughs> we love two pumps. Yeah. Interview Scott because he's pretty. David paid us to say that. Yeah, a lot of money. Eleven dollars. Scott. Yes, Scott's Scott's a good guy. He's uh, yeah. Who's a terrible now, guy? Gr- right, but he's fun to be around. Mm. Scott is. Awesome. Greg, now check us out, guys. Greg's been doing the the music scene locally here for over thirty years. Greg, what is? I'm gonna put you. I'm gonna I'm gonna put you on the spot, Greg. What is? What would be the Greg Unthank advice to you know to to this band? Give them some. Uh, I don't have. Some, I don't. I don't have any advice for them. You don't. I don't He's think been, that they're in it. I don't think that they're in it. I, I, I hold on. I don't think that they're in it in it for any advice to to achieve any goal. I think they're just like having a good time and doing what they like doing, and and that's and, what. But you're not. Do. That's not a disrespect thing. That's just the take. Right. No, we I mean, that that's, yeah. I happen to. But, I, no. I happen, no, I Greg, happen to, to be in, in, in some of those bands that they call shitty. So I really don't have any advice because my advice wouldn't mean anything to them. <laughs> oh, I see. How do you how do you explain the longevity? <laughs> oh my God! People are gonna stick us off with rifles for our next show. Uh, Please make it quick. <laughs> Well, no, I think we're on to something here, Greg, because, you know, the guys were mentioning some bands that, I yeah, that's kind of where I was going, Greg. You, you've you got history with some of the bands, some of them. You've got a history well, with I, a lot I of local play with, uh, Well, I used to play with Seven Mary Three, and, uh, right. you know. Uh, What's it like? Play, Are they deep bands? And, and uh, I used to play in, in, a, in a lot of those bands that those guys, they made fun of, you know, all the music that they had, the cumbersome and stuff like that. Hey, did you run in Nickelback, so that's cool? <laughs> no, I played in Nickelback. I was oh, in Nickelback. Oh, 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 oh. Did you play with Creed, too? <laughs> yeah, I played with Creed and Nickelback and uh, all those uh, shitty fucking bands. Yeah! <laughs> Spirit. Catching on. Not too late to change. I want to be in Volpe. That's what I want. Fuck now, I, now you know I'm 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 gonna you know what we're I'm gonna go here, Greg. I'm gonna facilitate this segment. Now, guys, band Gravel and Spiders, you're on the on the my co-host tonight, Greg Unthank, who's my co-host every week when we do this show. He's over thirty years in the music scene, and Greg, you shared something. Uh, on one of our first shows, remind me. Say that little line again about it's something about the nose and the toes. What was that line? It, it, it means nothing. It means nothing to these <laughs> to these fun. No, fun that's not cats. what I'm. That's not what I'm. That's not what I'm saying, Greg. I'm saying share the line. Share that line. I'm not saying what it uh, means. I'm saying share the line. Uh, Oh, okay. Uh, it, it, be careful of the toes that you step on because it could be attached to the ass that you have to kiss later. I'm not kissing any ass unless it's like some hot dude. <laughs> See, this is this tonight, Greg. This segment is. Uh, I didn't. Pl- I didn't. Know, I don't. Didn't know or expect what the vibe would be. I kind well. I tell you, I kind of got an idea that these guys would come on and be a little 
like some rebels, little you know, anarchists. And yeah. somebody it, it, <laughs> it's it's kind of clashing with the old school guy because Greg is old school. Greg is you you mentioned well, the, the thing. The thing is, uh, what we do on this show is is we have musicians uh, musicians on, and, and what they do is. is is we talk about what they've done, what they want to do, how much they like playing, and we also show respect for all the other bands in town. No matter what they do, we're all doing the same thing. And I think that when these guys didn't show any respect for a lot of the bands in town, saying that they do shitty stuff, this, that, and the other, that, that's kind of... You guys just know. threw up a middle finger, so respect doesn't really matter. Because if people want to come and heckle us, we welcome it. Love <laughs> is for people that actually suck. Like if you're good, well, not, you don't need to. What I'm saying is, not respect for you guys. I'm not saying respect for you guys because obviously that means nothing to you. It's it's respect for what other other musicians are doing around town, and we're all oh, doing yeah, the same thing. Around the area, there's been you know, what Days of the New, Tantric, and they suck. What are the local no, bands of the new? Not they, really. They no, I got, there, there's some, there's some talented cats. I have to disagree. Hey, uh, hey Kevin, Kevin, did you know that Kevin McCreary was in uh, Tantric? Tantric, yes, I did, and I know Todd yeah. Whitener, who was in uh, Days of the New. Todd's yeah. a good guy. Todd's a talented guy. Yeah, oh, I think. Talented, good dude, but the music you know, sucks. I, I, well, really, I mean, I, I guess it's all going to come see, down to. I guess I'm just going to have to say that I think that they suck because of their lack of of respect for 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 what we do. They ask to come on the show and we have fun, and then they be a bunch you know bunch of fucking jerks. So <laughs> it's not it's not that we're jerks. It's just that it's like what people have done. It's all past tense. It's like well, we are jerks. So it's, well, we but, we have our jerk moments, but it's like. The scene needs to, to change. It's stagnant. It's the same music being made over and over and over and over again. No one's doing anything new. No one's doing anything different. And that's why the venues are half empty when somebody plays. But we play. You know what? I do. I do agree with you. I agree with you on that. I agree with you on uh, bands playing the same old stuff. Um, a lot of that is dictated by the people who go out to the bars. That's all they want to hear. When they hear something different, they kind of leave. Or they well, go to it's third just not back. actually, it's Greg, for you guys. Greg, be honest, too. It's just not the people paying to go see those cover tunes. It's the venues as well, because that's the what the mindset of okay. the venue is, is that I got to get bands in that, right. And it's all dictated by the familiarity of what they're hearing, unfortunately. Because, you know, right. I'm down with original music and have, like you are, go out to hear original right. bands, original music. I, There's not a, pl- a lot of places to do that, you know. Right. Um, but you, you and if I, gotta, if, gotta, right. The only thing you yeah. suck is Dive. That, that place is home. It's awesome. Rick rules. <laughs> Bartenders kick ass. And the people. Yeah. It is a cool. It, it is a cool team. venue. It is a great dive. Yeah. I've been there. It is. I, I like it. It is a great place for bands who play their own stuff. And, to, and that's to, cool about know, that to, place. That's what's really right. cool about it them is. is they bring in you know the different it, type it, of it, bands. We're not right. chasing a nickel. We don't do this for money at all. We're just doing it for fun. Well, that's all. Awesome. Exactly. <laughs> well, yeah. But, but, but we you, don't can't, you can't disrespect the, the musicians out there that, that are doing it for the nickel because some of them are actually supporting themselves and their families for it. Well, don't disrespect their talent. Yeah. Don't disrespect their yeah, talent. Yeah, I, 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 I mean, guys like Alan Needham. Alan Needham with uh, Dark Side of the Wall. Excellent band. Excellent band. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of talent musicians here in Louisville who just we don't like what they're playing. Yeah, the music. <laughs> yeah. The, band, the musicians don't suck. No. Suck. And it's the music that they're forced to play, like you say, by the venues. It's the same old thing. Yeah, Cookie cutter, band bar band to bar to bar. You're in a shitty band. Yeah. I from us. That's true. <laughs> I'm in a classic classic rock band guitar to playing the same old stuff that every other band yeah. plays. Yeah. I found these guys play stuff nobody else plays. I love yeah, it. Yeah. No, that, cool. those are fair that. points. Those are fair points. They are very fair, and I agree with yeah. them points. I do agree with them. Yeah. And my other band uh, plays cumbersome. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm sorry. laughs> All right. Uh, uh, yeah, let me get the uh, the lady or the facsimile of the lady in in here. Amanda, is I would prefer. Are she? Is she still pooping? 
No, no, she's done. I'm done. She's back. I think she's working. All right, Amanda, share with us what you guys got lined up in the next few weeks gigs. Uh, we'll be at the Mag Bar January 20th at 10 o'clock with uh, Julius and Motel, Motel Faces. Faces. Bruce Brewski's on the 10th and then Third Street Dive on the 17th. And then Brewski's March 3rd. Yeah. Brewski's it out oh. there in Valley Station? Yep. Yeah. It's, no, scary, scary. It, it smells good. Smells like fried food. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Fried food and fried people. Fried there people. <laughs> Very cool. Um, the, Greg, you know, every now and then it's kind of healthy for us to have guests on tonight that kind of change the flow of things. And uh, gravel and spiders have clearly done that. <laughs> the thing with us, you have to have a sense of humor. Yeah, yeah. We all, do. All the fans that we all, all the people that I just said that we're friends with them. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. So they'll get okay. over it. Okay. <laughs> just just checking. You know, like I said, you know, that's Greg. Greg's played with a few of them. And, no, you know, and to Greg's play. point, just Greg's point, some of these people who play these songs that and are I, and, kind and of being yeah. like everybody else. So, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. All right. Uh, Ian, Amanda, share with us all of your social media. Where can we find you guys? Do we have any? You, you find have a Facebook. Here. I know you have a uh, Facebook. We'll give Ian's address. Uh, hold yeah. up. Stop by any time. Yeah. Um, I'd love to see you. You know, we don't really have anything aside from Facebook. Like, I have a YouTube channel that I post some of our shit on, but I've gotten pretty lazy about that. Oh. I'm pretty lazy about everything. Oh. Stop being lazy. Yeah, yeah start. Is, is there is there a gravel and spiders? Where, first of all, where did the name gravel and spiders come from? I told you, it's what Jamie eats. <laughs> He's, oh, that's right. You did say that. What Jamie eats. <laughs> Wow. Man, shit. Shit. The description of Tom White's voice. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> well, I didn't want that to come out. <laughs> yeah, there's a diagram. It's about Tom Waits, and there's a thing pointing to his throat, and it says gravel and spiders. Uh, so we stole oh. that. Yeah. Tom Waits is awesome. Nice. But we're never going to play his music because Scarlett Johansson already ruined all that shit. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait well, Greg, I, I'm going to go on record, Greg. Uh, and I will try to get you to go with me, but I am going to go see a Gravel and Spiders gig very soon. I want to be flipped off. I want to be flipped off the entire night. And uh, I, I want to see what all this anger is about live. <laughs> well, watch him unplug himself and JB screw up songs. Uh, yeah. Sometimes Ian takes his pants down. And <laughs> yeah, Ian has dropped his pants. Every now and then I hit a correct bass note. Every now and then. Every now and then. That's nothing to brag about. <laughs> oh, better. How do you fuck up four strings? <laughs> he fucks it up a little. <laughs> All right, guys, you, you, you guys, I, I think they, Greg, I think they came on and their intent tonight was to um, make a point or no, be different, no, not even be like different, <laughs> be different. You're, 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 yeah. Cal, if he ever listens. <laughs> What's that? There goes mother. No, uh, my friend Couch, if he ever listens, fuck him. He's a piece of shit. <laughs> Okay, we got that one down. All right. Were you guys telling me to uh, Yeah, you guys say count this? Yeah. All right. Gravel and spiders. <laughs> Ian, Amy, Gary, Jamie, thanks for coming out and hanging with us tonight. Thanks for Actually, thanks for bringing us to the porch tonight. Greg and I have had a, had a good and time on you. the porch. You gave me a warning. I, I, you get you did give me a warning, and I I totally kind of let it blow over my head. I thought yeah, I would no, I thought I would have control of this show, and I I clearly lost control of it several times. But <laughs> what did it was you, why didn't you give us a chance to answer the same crappy questions that Moody answered? <laughs> like I was prepared for that. No, we, that's, I could tell that those questions just would not go over with this segment. So we'll do it another time. We'll, we will do it another time. That was back. That was back. 
love you. We'll head back. Yeah, we love you. I'll, I'll yeah, you much I love. love. You. I will come check you guys out soon. You all have a good night. When Amy puts him off, I'm gonna love you. Bye. 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 Greg. <laughs> Are we back? Yeah, I, I I did basically what you just messaged me. <laughs> so <laughs> good. You know what? And I have to say this again, is as much as that was kind of a train wreck, you know, in some ways it's it's interesting to hear a perspective like that because clearly you weren't on the same page with them. Well, I, I was on the same page with bands playing the same music, um, right. at least the bands that they went out to see. There, there's, there is some variety out there, not much. Um, but, but yeah, as far as the mainstream goes, there's, there's bands out there, you know, even country and rock playing, playing the same mm-hmm. stuff, man, you know, playing the same stuff. But, no, he, you know, and he's right there. They're totally right. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah, they're to- totally right. But but you're you know he said that there's they're all shitty bands and he's just being fucking rude and immature and and, and oh, I'm done with all yeah, that you know I know yeah so hey <laughs> that's uh I, I, so in I, the, I, so in the I, manner that they can appreciate in the manner that they would appreciate I can say fuck them how about that they're and they you know they would be like oh yeah we got, love a, it. we got a we got a right now yeah they're we got a deaf you right from now. Greg yeah we got it right Greg, so. fuck. So, you know, fuck well too. So. All right. A lot of bands uh, playing this weekend. I was looking on Facebook to try to see all the events going on this weekend. Um, just a quick shout out. Acoustic Kink at Smyrna Inn on tomorrow night, the 11th. Uh, the Killer the killer Lips at the Levee on the 11th, Wednesday night. Corey oh, and Stacy. They they're for good. Yeah. We we you and I need to go together when we see that. We talked about Stacey earlier is, uh, Wildwood. Yeah. Well, Stacy has, has left Wildwood. Uh, Stacey. Yeah, Stacy is right. Their Wildwood's going through some changes lately with Stacy yeah. and basically now they're down to a four piece. Yeah, but they can think the guys they got they they that's still the core. They can handle it for sure. Mm-hmm. Right. From Paris Friday night at Baxter's Soul Circus. Oh, cool. Friday night at and I, bet, and I bet you every one of those bands plays cumbersome. I'm just going to say. <laughs> <laughs> Soul Circus at Bistro Friday night. Fr- you know, this is a Friday 13th, by the way, Greg. I don't know mm-hmm. if you're all into that paranormal superstitious stuff. Josh Bogart and the Dirty South at PBR, which I am going to hit uh, to start my nights on Saturday. Then I'm going to go to Baxter for Baxter's 42 to see the Saints. I'm going to leave there and then go check out you guys at Gerstles. Gravel and Spiders playing Friday, January 20th at Mag Bar. You're licking your chops to to get there. Down the road, Wild, Wildwood and the Hinkins. Oh, I'd, I'd like Olivia. to see them. I'd like to. Yeah, I, I would funny. actually. Yeah, funny, funny. I, I did see uh, some of the videos. Dark Side of the Wall. That's an event. It always is, yep. Playing uh, in February, the 18th at the Brown Theater. Might have to find a way to get somebody on either Allen again or whatever to promote that. So, mm-hmm. Good stuff. We're winding down on the show. Fun night, different night. Much thanks to Dave Moody. Thunderstruck, the to ultimate, he the ultimate me ace. In. He messaged me. He didn't uh, tell me, me too. Thanks for, thanks for him. Right. Yeah. yeah. yeah he's a good, good dude, guy. Man. It's all positive. It's all positive from Dave. For, yeah. And then we went from one extreme to the other. Gravel and Spiders. Ian, Amy, Gary, and Jamie came on to talk about their band, talk about their likes, dislikes when it comes to the local music scene. It's their time. I, we can agree. We can agree to disagree. It is what it is. Like. All of our music friends, we all wish them well, and we wish them to succeed when it comes to their whatever uh, music, they want to do, uh, their music projects. Yeah. Right. All right, yeah. Greg. Uh, again, Spare Change Millionaires. You guys are at Gerstles this Saturday. Solid show, different show. I'll take it. <laughs> it, it we'll take it tonight. You did well, man. You did good. I, I, I'm proud of you. Uh, for for uh, <laughs> for for my man, Greg Unthank. I'm Kevin Hale. We wish everyone a wonderful Tuesday night and a very pleasant Wednesday. Peace out, Louisville. 
Peace out, man. Please. Would you fucking peace out? Please. <laughs> peace out. Good night. Hey, go cats. Cats won the night. Yeah. No time were any animals or people hurt during this presentation of shooting from the lip.